We're conducting a grueling 36-hour sleep deprivation experiment in order to find out what happens to your brain and body when you go without sleep. In the safety of our lab. I've read the same page. Like over and over. Taylor, John, and Melissa have hit the halfway mark in our 36-hour experiment, and they're starting to feel it. Yeah, it'll only get worse. Are those words of encouragement? <laughs> After 18 hours, the average person starts to enter a sleep-deprived state. Which means it's a good time to test alertness. Hold the egg by the string pinched between your two fingers. This is our take on a classic sleep test. If you begin to doze off, you may drop the egg. Now, holding an egg on a string for 60 seconds may seem like an easy task, but not when you've gone 18 plus hours without sleep. After going without sleep for an excessive amount of time, your brain starts shutting down areas it considers non-vital to your survival. In this case, John's brain told the muscles in his arm and hand to relax, causing him to drop the egg. And even though John may think he's wide awake, certain parts of his body are shutting off. John is the only one who fails the alertness test, despite being so confident he'd do well in our sleep lab. I'm pretty used to being up for long lengths of time. I think I'll do very well at it. Part of the reason could be that he's been eating a lot. After a big meal, your body sends more blood and energy to the digestive system than to the brain, which is why you often get tired after eating a heavy meal especially if you have a sleep debt like John. 